Jamaica could have an outbreak of measles since 10% of the population is not vaccinated against the disease. The concern comes from Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton following a measles outbreak in the United States. TVJ's Shamela Pullen reports. Only 90% of the Jamaican population has been vaccinated against measles, according to the health ministry. It's a highly contagious disease that can lead to things like pneumonia and swelling of the brain. In the United States, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention says so far this year, over 600 cases of measles have been confirmed. With the numbers increasing, the health minister wants the 10% of Jamaicans who are yet to get an injection to protect themselves against measles to urgently do so. Some people just refuse to take vaccines, um, and and they refuse to give their children vaccines, and and so they get fouled through the, the cracks. That's normally how, how the situation is. We have to probably do more in terms of getting more persons to get vaccinated. There was a time when we were higher than the 90%, maybe 95 or so. So it is it is an indication that there is some slippage, and there is an some perhaps more to be done to help Jamaicans to understand the value, the importance of getting vaccinated. Dr. Christopher Tufton says the health minister has no reported cases of measles in Jamaica. Still, officials are not taking any chances. All ports of entries are on high alert, carrying out surveillance activities. We have an infrastructure that monitors our ports of entry, airports, other ports of entry. And part of that monitoring is to look out for any signs of illness, um, particularly when persons are coming from countries, jurisdictions where they, there's an outbreak in this instance. So the health officials at the airports, at our ports, are very aware, very prepared to, and have the authority under law to inspect, to quarantine and to validate one way or the other. The ministry says it has begun to further educate Jamaicans on how to protect themselves from measles. As we have had with all the other, you know, um, outbreaks that we have had, whether it's the flu or, you know, um, um, dengue or, or others. So we just have to adjust our resources, adjust our attention and deal with it. Um, we hope we don't. 60 healthcare professionals have been trained to respond to the outbreak. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News. In the meantime, Dr. Tufton says the ministry continues to monitor cases of the H1N1 virus. We seem to be having better success in terms of um, getting persons to visit their doctors if they have signs. Um, we seem to have not heard of any recent death. Um, the hospitals are coping, even though they are a bit old, you know, there's some weight that is required. But again, health officials adjust to the particular challenge at hand. So when it was dengue, they had to adjust. Now it is measles and um, H1N1, and we adjust accordingly. And so far, I think they're doing a, a, a fairly good job in, in managing the situation.